Okay, so today what we're going to learn is about factoring uh, the sum and difference of perfect cubes. So first thing you have to know is what is a perfect cube. So remember, a perfect square comes from doing a number multiplied by itself. Like 4 is a perfect square because 2 times 2 is 4. 9 is a perfect square because 3 times 3 is 9. 16 is a perfect square because 4 times 4 is 16. So remember, a perfect square comes from a number multiplied by itself. Square meaning 2. So a perfect cube comes from a, the product of a number multiplied by itself three times. So let's write that down. It's the product, product of a number multiplied by itself three times. Okay, so let's make a list of perfect cubes. So we're, we're going to skip zero, so let's start with one. So one times one times one is one. So one is a perfect cube. So the cube root, and that's how you write a cube root with a little three inside the check mark, that's called the index. So the cube root of 1 is 1, because we're saying what number multiplied by itself 3 times gives me 1. 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 times 2. That's 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. 8 is a perfect cube. The cube root of 8 is 2, because what number multiplied by itself 3 times gives me 8. 3 times 3 times 3. 27. 27 is a perfect cube. The cube root of 27 is 3. Next one. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. The cube root of 64 is 4. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. The cube root of 125 is 5. 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. So the cube root of 216 is 6. 7 times 7 times 7 is 343. The cube root of 343 is 7. Okay, so we could keep going, obviously. So now let's talk about variables. So we could have x times x times x. Remember, when you multiply, you add the exponents, so that's x to the third. So the cube root of x to the third is x. x to the second times x to the second times x to the second is x to the sixth. Remember, add the exponents. So the cube root of x to the sixth is x to the second. x to the third times x to the third times x to the third is x to the ninth. The cube root of x to the ninth is x to the third. We'll do one more. x to the fourth times x to the fourth times x to the fourth is x to the twelfth. So the cube root of x to the twelfth is x to the fourth. Okay, so hopefully you see a pattern. These are all, over here, these are all, the exponents are all multiples of 3. And then to get the number, the, when you do the cube root, you just take the exponent and divide by the index, right? 6 divided by 3 is 2, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So we could keep going too. All right, let's talk about multiplying here. Look at what I have for number 3. It says multiply this binomial, f a minus b, times, times a squared plus AB plus B squared. All right, so we're going to set it up, up and down. So it's A squared plus AB plus B squared times A minus B. Okay, so let's multiply. Let's start with the B. Negative B times B squared is negative B to the third. Negative B times AB is negative AB squared. Negative B times A squared is negative A squared B. All right, on to the A. A times B squared is, make sure you line it up, positive AB squared. A times AB is positive A squared B. A times A squared is A to the third. Okay, we'll add them down. So we have minus B cubed. Negative AB squared plus AB squared is zero. Negative A squared B plus A squared B is zero. And then we have A to the third. So when I multiply these out, look what I get. I get a cubed minus b cubed. This is called the difference, right, difference because it's minus, of perfect cubes. These are perfect cubes here. So 
when I factor this here, the difference of perfect cubes, this is what I get. Okay, so we're going to work on doing that. We're going to go from this form up to this form here. All right, let's do the one on the bottom. A squared minus AB plus B squared times A plus B. All right, so B times B squared is positive B cubed. Negative AB times B is negative AB squared. B times A squared is A squared B, positive. A, now I'm on to the A. A times B squared is positive AB squared. A times negative AB is negative A squared B. And A times A to the second is A to the third. Okay, let's add them up. So I get B to the third, positive B to the third. Negative AB squared plus AB squared, that's zero. Positive A squared B and negative A squared B is zero. And then I'm left with A to the third. So notice what I have here. I have the sum, because it's add, of perfect cubes. And when I factor the sum of perfect cubes, I get this guy right up here. This guy here. Okay? So notice that, look at the difference. Look at this guy here, and look at the factored form. This sign here is the same as this sign. This sign here and this sign are opposite. And this sign here is positive. Now look down at the, the sum here. This sign and this sign are the same. This sign and this sign are opposite, and this sign is positive. So that'll always happen. The first signs are, op are the same as whatever you have here. Then they're opposites, and then they're always going to be positive at the end. All right, so we're going to call that soap. So I'm just going to move everything down. Actually, move everything up. So here's my soap. So right underneath the S, I want you to put same. Oh, it's going to be opposite. That's an S. A is always positive. This will help you with the signs. All right, so when I factor the sum of perfect cubes, a cubed plus B cubed, you're going to set up two parentheses. So here's my two parentheses. The second parentheses will be bigger. Put in your signs now. So the first sign in here is going to be the same as whatever you have here, which is positive. And then the next sign in here is going to be opposite. So it's opposite of plus is going to be minus. And then the last sign is always positive. All right, so now what goes inside? You're going to take the first term and cube root it. So the cube root of a to the third is a. And the cube root, you're going to now do b to the third. The cube root of b to the third is b. So then what goes inside is you're going to take these two, go in the here, a, b. In the middle here are these two multiplied together, so that's a times b. And at the end are each of these squares. So it'll be a squared and b squared. All right, so let's try the difference of perfect cubes. All right, so set up your parentheses, right? Smaller one, a bigger one. All right, so I have a, um, a subtraction here. So the first, term, the first sign is going to be the same. The next sign that goes here is going to be opposite of this, so it's going to be a positive. And then the last sign is always positive. Now you're going to take a cubed and do the cube root of it. The cube root of a cubed is a. The cube root of b cubed is b. Inside... In here is just this, these two here, the A and the B. So that's AB. And then in the middle here is these two here multiplied together. So that's A times B. And then at the ends is each one of these here, each one of these here squared. So that's A squared, B squared. All right, so let's take a look at our first example. Okay, so let's set up our parentheses. And notice that I have the sum, because it's a plus, of perfect cubes. So to set up your parentheses, the small parentheses, I'm just going to do it on the side here, and the large parentheses. Um, now the signs, let's put in our signs. The first sign that goes in here is the same as whatever sign is here, so that's a positive. The next sign that goes here is opposite of what you have here. So if this is a plus, this one's going to be minus. And then the last sign is always positive. All right, now right underneath here, I want you to do your perfect cubes. So what is the cube root of x to the third? That's x. And what's the cube root of 27? That would be 3. 
All right, so right in here, I'm just going to move this down a tiny bit. So right in here, right at the top, I want you to put this is A, B. In the middle is A times B. At the end is A squared, B squared. This would be your A. This would be your B. So right in here, I'm going to start with this. That's your A is X. Your B is 3. So in the middle, you're going to take A and B and multiply them together, and you're going to get 3X. At the front, you're going to take your x, your a, and square it. And at the end, you're going to take your b and square it, so it'd be 3 squared. Now, you can't leave it like that because of the 3 squared. You have to write that as 9. So it's x plus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 9. All right, let's take a look at number 2. So I'm just going to move everything. Okay, so what I have here is the difference of perfect cubes. So let me set up my parentheses. This time I'll do it right underneath. Small parentheses, big parentheses. So I have, uh, I will have to do my soap. So the first sign is going to be the same as whatever this sign is. So that's a minus. The next sign is going to be opposite of what this is. So if this is plus, this, this is minus, this is going to be a plus. And the last sign is always positive. All right, now do your cube root. So I want the cube root is 64x to the third. The cube root of 64 is 4, and x to the third is x. And then the cube root of 8y cubed is 2y. All right, so now remember, what goes inside, it's going to be a, b. In the middle is a times b, and at the end, it's going to be a squared, your b squared. So this is your a, and this one is your b. Okay, so let's put in our uh, numbers now. So it's going to be 4x and 2y. In the middle is going to be 4x times 2y. We'll fix that up in a minute. And at the front, it's going to be, now you've got to be careful here. This is 4x squared, and then the back is going to be 2y squared. You have to square the whole thing. So we have to clean this up. So it's going to be 4x minus 2y. 4x squared is 16x squared. 4x times 2y is 8xy, and then 2y squared is 4y squared. Okay, and let's try the last one. All right, so now when you factor, I didn't talk about this, is you do ha always have to look for the GCF first. So my other ones, um, let's take a look at this here. I didn't do it with this one here. I just wanted you to get a feel of how to factor. But this you have to. There is a GCF. The GCF is 2. So you have to factor out the 2. And you get 125 plus 2x, just x to the third, sorry. All right, so I have the sum of perfect cubes in here. So let's set up our parentheses. Little, big. First sign is the same as whatever I have here, which is plus, and then I go to opposite, always positive. All right, now let's write down our cube roots. The cube root of 125 is 5, and the cube root of x to the third is x. So remember, this is a, b, a times b in the middle, a squared in the front, b squared in the back. So it's going to be 5 plus x, 5 squared, 5 times x, and then x squared. So let's clean it up. You got to bring down the 2, so it's 2 times 5 plus x times 25 minus 5x plus x squared. Okay, so that's that's it with uh, the sum and difference of perfect cubes. Now we have to talk about some higher order polynomials, so let's flip it over. Okay, so the higher power polynomials, uh, what we're going to work on are trinomials at a higher power. So what you're going to do, <coughs> excuse me is you are still going to use master product. All right, so let's look at the first one. So the first one is x to the eighth minus 2x to the fourth plus 1. All right, so we are going to multiply the first times the last, and I get positive 1x to the eighth power. Now I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 1, add to 2. And that would be 1 and 1. So that would be 1 and 1, right? They multiply to 1 but add to 2. Now when I multiply to 1, when I multiply to 1, x, I have to get x to the 8th. But when I add, I have to get x to the 4th. So that means this has to be x to the 4th and x to the 4th here. They get the same signs. They're both going to be negative. So now I bring down the end in the front. And now I factor by grouping. 
So I grouped the first two, grouped the last two. The GCF of the red group, sorry, that should be an eight. The GCF of the red group is x to the fourth times x to the fourth minus one. And the GCF of the yellow group is negative one. Then I get x to the fourth minus one. So now my factors are x to the fourth minus one. Sorry, x to the fourth minus one times x to the fourth minus one. Now x to the fourth minus one, both of these are factorable. They're both dots. So this is going to be x squared plus one, x squared minus one x squared plus one, x squared minus one. And then the x squared minus one, not the plus one because that's sum. These are a difference of two perfect squares too. So that's x plus one, x minus one. Bring down the x squared plus one, the x squared plus one, and then add x plus one, x minus one. So to kind of make this a little bit neater, we can write it, I have two of these guys here of two of these, so that's x squared plus one squared. I have x plus one, x plus one, so that's x plus one squared, and x minus one, x minus one squared. Okay, so let's try uh, example number two. Okay, so example number two is x to the fourth minus seven x squared plus 12, so I multiply the first times the last, I get positive 12 x to the fourth. Now, what numbers multiply the 12 add to 7? That would be 4 and 3. They have to multiply to x to the 4th, but add to x to the 2nd, so it has to be x to the 2nd. They get same signs in this case. They're both going to be negative to get me negative 7x squared. All right, now I'm going to factor by grouping. Group Green group will have the yellow group. In the green group, the GCF is x squared times x squared minus four. In the yellow group, the GCF is negative three times x squared minus four. So my factors right now are x squared minus three and x squared minus four. And then of course the x squared minus four, we can factor that's x plus two, x minus two, and we can't do anything with this. So I just bring it down. Okay, so that's it, and we'll practice in class tomorrow. Have a good night.